Ample Guitar M Lite is considered the best free acoustic guitar plugin available. And it has a fantastic professional sound and some superb tools to work with. So let's dive deep into this free plugin to see what it can do. The download of this free guitar comes as an installer file for Mac or Windows and during installing you have to choose in what folder on your computer this plugin needs to be installed, so your DAW can find it. And you can choose to install it as a VST2 in 32 and 64 bit, RTAS and AAX for Pro Tools. So there are many options to go through during installing, but after the install you only have to start your DAW and search for the AGML, the Ample Guitar M Lite. The first thing you see is a guitar with a keyboard below it. And the thin blue stripe below the keyboard shows which keys can be played. The yellow stripes below the keyboard show some extra options that you can trigger by playing that particular note. If you hover over the notes with your mouse, the key will be explained. Above the keyboard you will find the two microphone sliders and a general volume. The panorama and width controls, the doubler that can be switched on and off, and then some sliders for the release sound, effect sounds, resonance and the fret sound. Just below the neck of the keyboard there are some switches, and some of them are important. Like the hold pedal can be switched on permanently, but the most important one is the play mode switch. If that is set to standard mode, the plugin will play like a guitar, so if you play two notes that are normally played on the same string of the guitar, it will only play the last played of the two. In keyboard mode, all notes that you play on the keyboard will be heard. So you can play 15 strings if you like and they will all be heard. It soon starts to sound like an unrealistic guitar. So you really have to try to play with less notes in a chord. Just try three or four, that's more than enough. But there is more in this great plugin. At the top you see that you have been on the main page until now. If you click on the next button, you will see the strummer part, which makes it sound more like there is a guitarist playing. You have to switch this on to use it. Now this is a totally different way of playing. At the left you see some controllers to change the humanization of the sound like the strum time, the velocity and the body resonance. But the next window is an important one. There you can choose to select a preset set of chords just by pressing a note on your keyboard. There are 24 presets that can be controlled on two octaves of the MIDI keyboard and you can transpose the whole key bank to any key. But you can also set it to detect the key and then you have to play a complete chord on the lower part of your keyboard. Now you can play the separate strings of the chosen chord on the next octave, playing the white keys from the D to the B. They are also velocity sensitive. The C key and all the following seven black keys play eight patterns. And you can adapt and create new patterns, adding upstroke, downstroke, mute and separate strings. This is all done in the sequencer window. Ample created many preset patterns to choose from, so you can make your own set of 8 patterns to play your chords with. And if you like the pattern and the chord to be used in your sequencer, you can drag the pattern 
as a one measure MIDI track to your host. The next button at the top is the Tab option. Here you can use Guitar Pro Tabs, which you can download from many websites. Actually, it's like playing a complete guitar song. So there is one in here that you can listen to. The next step is the effects, where you see 8 effects that can be used on your guitar sound. As you can see it looks like small stomp boxes and they also work this way. These can also be controlled by MIDI controllers and if you right click you see the learn option. Like here on the wah pedal I can use a controller on my keyboard to move this pedal. And at the top there is also a switch to use several mono and stereo settings that might be handy for your recordings. Well, I hope you learned something from this. Just try it yourselves, it is really the best free plugin we have ever played. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep you updated. Mm -hmm.